is happening! Fellow collectors, fellow subscribers, fellow hunters, Mike the Hunter here. What's going on, guys? Hey, I'm gonna put this Darth Vader thing, whatever his name is, Stormtrooper back. Just put Dark Hawk and then, yeah, one another, another day I'll go get Drax and Yondu, whatever the rest of the wave. So that was my mom. Um, she just called me. She was at Walgreens and she was like, oh, hey, I see one of those stormtroopers, those big ones that are on sale for like 15 bucks, the ones that make sounds and stuff. Um, but I was like, I already have one of those. And I'm not going to pay 15 bucks for one of them. That's, you know, too pricey for, you know, those little guys. I'd rather wait for them to go on clearance. But then I, she's like, oh, well, what are you looking for right now? I said, the Mar Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Wave. So she goes, checks out the toy aisle. They don't have them out. And I was like, hold on, Mom. She starts reading all the characters that I have already. Mom, I already have those. Mom, I already have every single one of those figures that I go to that Redlands Walgreens all the time. So they don't have shit. I said, Ma, do me a favor. Ask the guy if they have any in the back of the Guardians of the Galaxy way because they never stock their shit because they don't have room from all those shit figs on the shelf taking all the space up. So she asks the guy and what does he do? He comes out with a case of Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends. And he has Darkhawk, he has Drax, Yondu. I said, damn, well I'm gonna have to choose one. You know, my mom's spotting me on this. She's gonna she wants to buy it for me, so I have to choose one. And I chose. Sweet. That's cheap. He ain't cheap. This is one of the hardest ones the to find. The other one the banner was heavier too. Hey everybody, it's T-Man978. Time to do a chill review on this new Marvel Legends Darkhawk. Dude, thanks to my mom, mi madre, she picked this guy up. I'm glad. Uh, my Walgreens still has a Yondu, and it still has a Drax, and probably the rest of the wave, so I'm going to try to pick those up as soon as I can, too. This is awesome, man. Definitely glad. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Ah, oh, son, you know what you got to do. You got to have yourself a box, and you got to have yourself a knife. We'll start with this side. Just give it a nice, even cut. Ah, here comes one of my favorite parts. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you guys know the deal. You got to give him a brand new whiff. This is a brand new figure. Yes, it's a brand new figure. Oh, Dark Hawk. You smell amazing. I love how they added the purple in this new package, man. These these new boxes, the purple just goes great, and it makes the figures just pop so much more. Um, especially on the Groot figure, the box just looks absolutely fantastic. <gasps> oh my God, Dad, it's you! I know, son. Come stand with me in victory. You got it, Dad. Wow, these guys are like exactly identical. Isn't that funny? Look at that. Little one. Big one. Little one. Big one. This is awesome! Ah, what the heck, I guess I'll get into the posing. So, let's go ahead and... It's got the double-jointed knees, beautiful. He's got the double-jointed elbows, gorgeous. Wow, that looks amazing when you do that. Check it out. When you do the elbows, right? And then you have the bottom pieces flaring out too. So that is just, oh my God, dude, I'm, I'm so impressed. The ab crunch is doing good, goes that much far. The head goes that much up, just what I like. When I hang my figures, I like them to be looking up. Goes down, looking super sick. He's got the uh, foot, pivot, whatever you call it. And the shoulders only go about, eh about this high. I am digging it and I give it an A+. The thing I love about this figure so much is, yeah, it, it's something we're not used to, you know? This doesn't look like a, a very common um, mold, I guess. Like, it doesn't look like it's been exactly recycled. The paint finish is, like, nice and it's got that that shiny blue, like, it's hard, that midnight blue that I love. That's, like, one of my favorite colors is midnight blue. And this character 
This figure is rocking it perfectly. It's got that, fuck me! It's got that shiny, glittery kind of uh, paint, and, and that's the paint I love, man. It makes these figures really pop. Let's get a close little look at that Titus head. Beautiful, man. I thought the the mouth would close and open, but it does not. It's just molded like that. Um, still pretty sick. I'd rather have it open. Got the eyes, the nose, everything. I'm really digging this head, man. That's what she said. Today is an ugly day outside. It's a rainy day. I can't do shit outside. So uh, I'm reorganizing my room, trying to make some more space in here, man. There ain't no room up in this bitch. Every single wall is filled with something. Either... Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Too much cheesecake. It's getting claustrophobic in here, man. Look at that. This is insane. I got mail today. Two packages. Yeah, baby. It's the fig life for I. It's the fig life for I. Marvel Legends Black Series. Marvel Select Funko Pops. It's the fig life. So the first package we got up is from three guys. Uh, by the name of Chubbs, Nate, and Mike. They run an Instagram page called Boys With Their Toys, and basically what these guys do, you know, they post pictures of, you know, the latest news, the latest movies that are coming out, you know, the cool guys. They do podcasts and stuff where they talk, and they're pretty funny, you know. The, <laughs> I tuned into one of their uh, live podcasts before, and then the dudes are pretty funny, man. Um, <clears throat> so you gotta check them out. They decided to send me some figs, so I can't wait to open them. Boys with their toys. Boys with their, T-H-E-I-R, their, a lot of people get that confused, toys. The link will be in the description below. Check them out. Cool guys. And, uh, yeah, let's get this package open. No more waiting. Let's do it, guys. It's the fig life for I. It's the figure life for I. Marvel Legends. Holy shit. I got the arm and two more figs. It's the Marvel Legend life. <laughs> yeah, baby. They look so good. Look at them. Ah, Brother Voodoo. And the Marvel Comics Doctor Strange. This one is so much better than the, um, than the last one we got. Without the cape, what the hell was that all about, Hasbro? He said it's that shitty ass Marvel Legend, man. We don't, no one even likes it. Half of the people probably have him stored away in his drawer, in the drawer, man. It, no one wants him. He's a shitty figure. He, he, you guys just redid it and just threw a cape on him. What's wrong with you? But this guy's pretty sick. I cannot wait to pose him. We got both of the arms for the Dormammu. <laughs> That's good. And of course, we have the parts that belong with them. Yeah, man. I can't wait to play with these. Take some pics. Some Marvel Legend pictures, man. Boys with toys. Thank you, guys. I'm going to throw that Dormammu arm on right now. Um, he's up there on the shelf in a very, very, very steady pose. And I don't want to break him down right now. But I will once I'm done opening these packages. I just opened yours. So let's get down to this other one by a Trev. It's either Trevon or Trevor. Um, I don't know if your R is an N or your N is an R at the end. Trevon, Trevon or Trevor. Let me know. Um, I'm going to open this guy up. Boys with Toys, I have much to thank you for, man. Keep up with, with what you're doing. You know, the podcast, uh, talking about movies. It's very interesting. You guys aren't boring. Keep it up. And hopefully, you know, these guys will check you out. Guys, tell them Mike the Hunter sent you. And uh, let me know what you think of them. Thank you so much, guys. My Dormammu is complete. This is a heavy box. This is a heavy, heavy box. What the fuck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! No! <laughs> no! No! You did it! No, you did it, bro! Holy shit! Oh my gosh! Check this out! It's a fucking apocalypse! Fuck me in the ass! No way, dude! Oh my god! This is. Ow! I'm awake! 
I'm fucking awake. This is not... <laughs> oh, God, he's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I can't. Holy shit, he's fucking huge. That's what she said. Oh, my God, and you did not throw in. Oh, what the fuck? He threw in a crossbones and he threw in... Oh, my God, I can't. Oh, this is awesome. This is not happening right now. Armin Zola, bro, and crossbones. What the fuck is happening? Wow, man, I'm so stoked. Before I pass out, before I pass out, let me read this note. It's a note for Mike the Hunter. Oh my god, I'm shaking, bro, I'm shaking. What is up, Mike? I hope you enjoy the apocalypse. I found it at a garage sale for 30 bucks? What in the ass? It was a steal, smiley face. I like that smiley face. Bitches love smiley faces. I don't have any use for it anymore. The figure is missing its tubes, and it's a little loose. I don't give a shit. I hope you don't mind. I don't give a shit. The other two figures are just figures I don't need. Enjoy! Sincerely, Trevon, or Trevor, N. Tran. <clears throat> Hopefully I pronounced your last name right. P.S. Tell Mary and Chloe, I said, the force is with you. Indeed it is, brother. Oh my gosh, you, what the fuck, dude? My day is like... Oh my god, he's so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful, Apocalypse. How do you feel? How do you feel to be in Mike the Hunter's hands? How do you feel? You are beautiful. You are gorgeous, man. You just look at you. You just... <laughs> what are you doing? What are you... You can move... Oh! His articulation on his knees. Look, you hear that? <laughs> Woo! The ab! Wow. You are amazing. Bro, this thing is humongous. I am trying not to say that's what she said, but that is what she said! I've always wanted a crossbones, man. That is the honest truth. I've always wanted a crossbones. I thought it would be impossible to get a Marvel Legends crossbones. Armazola looking all dope. Oh wow. Check him out up close. Let me get a let me get a thumbnail. So there is Apocalypse right up there, standing above all those tiny legends. Looking super sick. I'm kind of freaking out though, because I don't know if I'm gonna keep him up there. I might just give him his own shelf because I do not want this guy to fall because I can imagine it's gonna be really bad if he does. So I'm probably gonna stick him right there on his own shelf. And then you got these two right here owning it. Looking dope as hell. I'm loving the cape. I'm loving Brother Voodoo. Looking nice, man. Wow. Let's get the arm on that uh, Dormammu. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Nice, man, it's looking dope. George, uh, Plastic Attic had a problem with him standing up and he knocked down all his figures you know, domino style. So George, that's why you get a figure stand. Awesome, man. And I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put up that crossbones right now because I wanna play with him right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do with some poses with this guy, some pictures. I'm not done, man. I, what do you think? Mm-hmm. You damn right, crossbones. So before I start this little sick ass montage for you guys, you know, a little picture art of what I'm doing with this fig. Um, I want to shout out the guy that sent me the apocalypse and these two figures, Nathan Antolin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your last name right. Nathan underscore Antolin 12 is going to be his Instagram name. Do me a favor, go follow him. He's a cool guy. Thank you so much, man. Your link for your Instagram will be in the description below. I have so much to thank you for, man. Thank you so much. I'm about to get down with this fig posing, get a little music going for you guys. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much, brothers. <laughs> I'm still shaking from that damn apocalypse, bro. Thank you.
crossbones next to Punisher looking sweet. And there is Darkhawk flying on the ceiling next to Silk. Looking totally sweet, man. Oh, let's go high up and uh, get a closer view. Looking real sweet. Yeah, as you can see, I got the thumbtacks right in the wings, in between the wings, so there's no damaging the figure. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this little fig review. Hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. If you did, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next one. Oh, and I'm going to be uploading some dope ass pics of this guy too on my Instagram. So don't forget to follow my figure Instagram at underscore Mike underscore the underscore Hunter underscore. And we will see you guys on the next one. And as always, good hunting. Ha ha ha!